afternoon, Ralph. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, it feels like deja vu asking you questions about your future again. I know you were asked last weekend whether you felt you're under pressure, and then there were reports in the media yesterday questioning your future again. Do you feel like you're fighting for your job here at Southampton? You don't need to ask me these questions if you don't want to. So it's not, not your job. You can have a beautiful game we can talk about. Uh, from our side, uh, it's always the same. Yeah? It's, from my side, um, I'm here for for quite a long time. So um, we had some some tough times here in this in this club uh, in the past, and also some good times. And um, I don't have a different feeling about my job than I think any other manager in the Premier League. You need to get results. You need to get wins, and this is why we are concentrating on. You mentioned you've had tough times in the past. Does this feel any different? The period you're in right now, just 12 points no. from 20 Premier League games. <clears throat> I mean, we had better ones, that's for sure. Um, and we are facing Man City. You know uh, what team we are facing at the moment. But I also know that we draw twice against them last season. And uh, we were one of the few teams that took point in in Etihad. And uh, yeah, this is the only thing we are concentrating on. All the other things is maybe a topic for you, not for me. And on Manchester City, uh, up against a certain Erling Haaland, how do you go about stopping a play like that? No, I think if you reduce Man City to Erling Haaland, this is what you like to do. I think uh, there are more players that you have to concentrate on. If you look on Erling Haaland, then I think uh, <laughs> you will also not win this game. I think we have showed in the past against a strong side that we are competitive and uh, this year they are even stronger and we, it's it's a good challenge to to show us again if you are able to to yeah to take something there i know you're focusing on the whole of manchester city right so as well but for erling haaland in particular are you surprised by how quickly he's hit the ground running in the premier league since arriving in the summer that is not this surpri that surprising that a good player coming in a good team uh, can be a successful goal scorer. This is not that surprising for me. I mean, he scored goal in every club he has played so far, and this is by far the best club he has played in. So there was not uh, one reason why he shouldn't do it in this club also. And uh, yeah, that he's an exceptional player and he's playing an exceptional team um, is uh, what everybody sees now. and. Uh, Fantastic for the Premier League that players like him are coming to us. And finally for me, you've got a young group here at Southampton. You spoke before that they need a little bit more time to gel. Is there patience enough is there enough patience in the Premier League to allow this young group the yeah. time and the opportunity to develop? Definitely here. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> because this is a way without alternative for us as a club and this is the reason why we have to to go this route. It definitely hurts us that we have some injured young players, they have qualities and uh, in the end uh, this is something that they that we see, it was also last game with Juan, uh, an intense Premier League game for the young lads, they have to get adapted to it. We have some, some problems with fitness also because I think uh, it is a different level of intensity when you play in this league and that is what they have to learn and this is something that doesn't come from one day to the other. Can I just ask, have you got a message for the fans who might be a bit frustrated right now with the results on the field? Yeah, the message is a very, very clear one. Um, we have uh, had three very tight games. Uh, the last three we lost with one goal difference. And I think in especially the last one we had a, a much higher uh, chance of, of winning than, than the opponent, but we didn't do it. And uh, this is what we have to learn. And I think we, we see that the progress is there, but uh, yeah. The Premier League is tough. We know this. We we are going there, and you can be sure that we are not scared when we go to Man City. And uh, this phase we want to see, and we want to show a brave team, and uh, finally, hopefully, a successful one. Thanks, Ralph. Nick. Hi, Ralph. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. If you can please talk us through the team news for this weekend, please. Yeah, the team news. Uh, as I said, we had a few players. They have uh, not trained the whole week. We had some issues with Arma and with Juan uh, with small injuries, but sure normally they should be available for the weekend. And uh, one, two players uh, out with a little bit of illness, but it's, they also have been back on the pitch today. So uh, yeah, the group so far is, is, is together like it was. 
you managed to really challenge Man City in previous meetings. Can you see a similar scenario this weekend? No, as I said, I think they they had some good job on the done on the transfer market and uh, definitely improved uh, their offensive quality with 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 an upgrade from Gabriel Jesus, who is also not such a bad player, to to Erling Haaland, uh, who does it even better. I think, yeah. What what we want to speak about this team? I mean, we have seen yesterday evening a game from them. Uh, I think is. Uh, it is not easy to defend against them. We will find a way to do it. Is that the best Man City, the most intimidating Man City you ever seen? Absolutely. I think uh, they had very often situations that were where they were dominating the league and, and scored goals uh, every time, three, four, five goals. Um, and the uh, fact is they will not underestimate us. Uh, when you hear Pep talking after the game that he saves players, uh, leave them in the, uh, in, in, the, in the dressing room after halftime for, for being fresh for our game, then you know that he, he wants to come with the best uh, possible squad against us. Uh, it is a kind of respect to us, uh, it doesn't make it easier for us, but OK, we are going. This, we had last year two good games against them, three good games, and uh, finally, yeah, we want to be a team that, uh, that is uh, yeah, showing their qualities. Thank you.